Some change, Koy. Please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now in session. Je déclare l'audience ouverte. Today the chamber continues to hear remaining testimony of the party GD. And after her conclusion, we begin hearing testimony of a witness through TCW914. Greffier, please report the attendance of the parties and other individuals to today's proceedings. Greffier, Mr. President, for today's proceedings, all parties to this case are present. Except Mr. Liu Suwana, the ah, National Defense Council for Nunji, who is absent today for personal reasons. Mr. Nunji is present in a holding cell downstairs. He has waived his rights to be present in the courtroom. The waiver has been delivered to the Grafie. The civil party who is to conclude her testimony today, that is Madame G. Liv, as well as Sun Solida, the TPO staff, are present in the courtroom. The upcoming witness to TCW914 confirms that through the best knowledge and ability, the witness has no relationship by blood or by law to any other two accused, that is Nun Chi and Kiyo Sun Pong or to any other civil parties admitted in this case. The witness will take an oath before the Iron Club statue this morning. Thank you. President, the Chamber now decides on the request by Nguyen Ji. The Chamber has received a waiver from Nguyen Ji. The Chamber has received a waiver from Nguyen Ji. Dated 31st August 2016, which states that due to his health, that is, had neck and back pain, he cannot sit or concentrate for long, and in order to effectively participate in future hearings, he requests to waive his right to be present at the 31st August 2016 hearing. He advises that his counsel advised him about the consequence of this waiver, that in no way it can be construed as a waiver of his rights to be tried fairly or to challenge evidence presented to or admitted by this court at any time during this trial. Having seen the medical report of Nunti by the duty doctor for the accused at the ECCC, dated 31st August 2016, which notes that Nunti has a, a back pain when he sits for law and documents that the chamber shall uh, grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 815 of the ECCC internal rules, the chamber grants Nunchi his request to follow today's proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs by an audiovisual means. The chamber instructs the AV unit personnel to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nguyen Chi can follow. That applies for the whole day. And now I'd like to hand the floor to Judge Lavergne. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. I'll have a few follow-up questions to put to the civil party. Before giving the floor to the defense, Madame Civil Party, yesterday you talked about your meetings with Kyo Sampan on two occasions. You stated that, on the one hand, you saw him attending 
au stade meeting, Boreikela. At the Boreikela et vous stadium. avez également dit que vous l'aviez vu. He also stated that you euh, saw him. Il semble que c'était à la pagode de Wat Unalom, où Unalom, il avait Unalom, euh, dispensé pendant toute une journée une formation à he conducted euh, des jeunes for an entire day, de, euh, des jeunes de mobiles. For youth, si j'ai compris, drawn des from jeunes qui avaient travaillé pour le ministère des Commerces. Et ce que j'ai bien compris, c'est que vous avez dit hier. Did I properly understand what you stated yesterday? Yes, that is correct. Voilà, et vous avez indiqué que well. ces deux, euh, you stated deux that occasions dans lesquelles vous aviez rencontré Kyo Sampan, c'était toutes les deux déroulées en 1975. Were both et je in vous demande de cette chronologie. Est-ce que c'est véritablement en 1975 que vous avez rencontré Kyo Sampan Vous êtes sûr de cette chronologie Est-ce que vous avez vu Mr. Kyo Sampan sur deux occasions I occasions. However, I did not have any calendar to refer to for that reason. I am not sure about the month. However, as for the year, it is likely that the two occasions happened in late 75 or early 76. Yeah. Donc, la réunion Very well. à Wat Unalom, est-ce qu'elle était Unalom destinée Pagoda? à des euh, membres du ministère Was du Commerce for Ou bien à qui était le ministère du Commerce Ou Qui était le public qui participait à cette réunion est-ce que vous vous souvenez si à cette époque Do you recall whether déjà, during that period, Koitoun si had already been arrested? I am not sure about Koitoun. I knew of his arrest, but I can recall as to when he was arrested. D'accord. S'agissant well. de euh, la réunion au stade Boreikela, vous avez dit Boray que Stadium, lors de cette réunion, on avait, that il avait été question du procès that meeting, de Hunim et de Huyun. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous donner un peu plus de détails sur euh, ce Can que vous voulez vous dire par là Co comment savez-vous qu'il s'agissait du procès de Hunim How et de Huyun How did you know trial of Hunim and Huyun? Uh, the day that I and when I arrived at uh, Boraikela, actually, we rested for a day and a meeting was held uh, the next day and it was held in a theater. And, uh, an announcement was made that Hunam and Hujun would be tried that day. And Om Kiesum Pond was present during the day. However, when I was there, I saw only two messengers of Hujun and Hunam, but uh, the uh, True, Mais did not, uh, were not present there. Only the messengers uh, spoke, seuls, les messagers ont pris la parole. and uh, they spoke <laughs> about uh, the backgrounds Et of Hunam and Huyun. Later on, I was not well. Since I had Après, a fever, then I was sent uh, to rest fièvre. at a Donc hospital. Dans un hospital. Que, quel était le rôle de Kyo Sampan à ce moment-là what was Kyo Sampan's role at the time? Présents? Were there any other leaders in attendance? Vous vous what other details do you recall? 
Alors, vous avez dit que, Now, si j'ai bien compris, if I on avait understood you correctly, entendu uh, you said that uh, le témoignage des messagers de Ouyoun et de Ounim. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris Uyun ce Uyun que j'ai entendu en français C'est-à-dire que ça ne se passait pas nécessairement au stade de Borekela, mais dans un French. théâtre. You said that that happened not at the Borekela Stadium, but at a theater. Was it at a theater or at the Borekela Stadium? It was uh, at the Borekela Stadium. C'était au stade de Borekela. Et il y avait combien de personnes qui participaient à, à, à ce à cette audition des témoins? Attended il y avait that, combien de personnes? Uh, session during which the witnesses gave their testimonies. How many persons were present? There were uh, many. It was a, a full crowd. There were also a military personnel who attended uh, the meeting, but I did not know them. Mais je ne les connaissais pas. Et, et quel était le rôle exact de Kyo Sampan? And what was Kyo Sampan's exact role? Uh, I do not know of his exact position, however, he was uh, sitting at the podium, but I had no idea about his uh, function. I only knew that I saw him there. Et il était tout seul à la tribune ou il y avait d'autres personnes avec, avec lui? Was he alone on the podium? or there were other persons with him. There were other people whom I did not know. Et que Sampan et ces autres personnes, est-ce qu'elles posaient des and questions aux messagers de Huyun et Huyun? And did Kyo other persons Uyun? put any questions to the messengers of Hunim and Huyun? Initially, uh, questions were put to the messengers. However, after the messengers started speaking, they did not put any further questions. And as I said, I left early. Donc, vous avez dit qu'on avait fait l'annonce so qu'il allait y avoir le procès de Huyun et Huyun. Est-ce que, est que the trial of avant, et vous Huyun avez dit que vous aviez attendu un jour avant que cette, Did you wait cette for réunion ait lieu a day before the meeting was held à l'avance on vous avait annoncé qu'il y aurait d'autres thèmes qui seraient abordés that, est ce qu'il y avait d'autres formes ce qu'il y avait une formation politique qui était prévue was it announced that there would be a political euh, training session est-ce que vous avez été euh, surprise d'entendre qu'il s'agissait du procès de Huyun et Huyun were you surprised to hear that there was going to be the trial of we arrived uh, on the day and we Nous rested and nobody said anything and uh, the meeting or the trial happened the next day. And we did not know anything before we uh, actually attended to the meeting. Donc avant d'arriver, vous n'aviez aucune so, idée prior to de la raison arrival, pour laquelle vous étiez convoqué you had no idea à cette réunion. Ce n'est que à la dernière minute qu'on vous a dit qu'il y aurait ce procès, and it was ce que j'ai bien compris. In the last minute that you were told that that trial was going to take place, did I properly understand your testimony? Yes, that is correct. We oui, did not exact. know Nous anything uh, beforehand, and only when we were there, we knew that Hunem and Huyun were put on trial. Est-ce qu'à un moment quelconque, vous avez vu Huyun et Hunim apparaître devant Kyo Sampan when you saw Hunim and Huyun appear before Kyo Sampan or before a tribunal? No, I did not see them, non, and I only saw uh, their messengers. 
Et est-ce que vous savez si par la suite and il y a eu you know un whether jugement qui a été rendu dans le cadre de, de ce procès Quelle a été la suite euh, après l'audition des What messagers de Huyun et Hunim of the hearing of the messengers of Hunim ensuite. and Huyun. Did anything happen thereafter? I did not hear such an announcement Je n'ai pas entendu de telle, une telle annonce par la suite. Je vous pose toutes ces questions parce que I put all these questions de date, to you because uh, it appears uh, that there are problems with the dates. You referred to a meeting that was held in late 1975. Parties, I believe that was under the provision of the parties, but I believe that Hunim was arrested in 1977. So there may be some difficulties in that regard, and that is why I'm putting the question to you again. Are you sure? of the date 1975. Yes, it uh, may happen in late 75 or early 76, but I am not sure as to the day and the month. But uh, the truth is, I attended to the meeting, and that uh, happened in either late 75 or early 76. And as for the arrest of those people, I did not know. S'agissant de la visite de Pol Pot dans les, les ateliers, est-ce que c'est une visite qui était totalement imprévue? Was that visit completely unforeseeable, or you had been informed in advance that an important personality was going to visit the workshops? I did not know that uh, Pol Pot went to visit the Korea. I did not know that Pol Pot went to visit the Korea, and I only saw him Pol in the documentary where it was shown that he went to visit the Korea. Il, uh, rendu en visite. En Corée. Oui, mais Pol Pot, vous avez bien vu Pol Pot yes. venir dans l'atelier où vous travaillez, vous. Did you indeed see Pol Pot visit the workshop in which you were working? Que vous aviez vu un I understood that you watched a documentary Pol Pot rendre une visite in which Corée. Pol Pot was, showing, uh, was shown visiting hier, Korea. That is one thing. But yesterday you Pol stated Pot. that you yourself saw Pol Pot. Si and my question to you Pol Pot, is as follows. Before you saw Pol Pot, were you informed that important. an important personality was going to visit the workshop? Nobody uh, told me anything. It just happens that I saw him when I was so being close. He was uh, standing in front of me, and he asked me whether I ate my fill with a bread that was given, and I said no, that was uh, not sufficient. Sometimes I had to eat uh, morning glory. He did not say anything else. Then he moved on, and I continued to sew in my clothes. The clothes. And next. Next day, we were given two breads, one le for the morning and one for the uh, evening. I only saw him with a few uh, other individuals, and he was, was not escorted uh, with the uh, bodyguards. Bien, je vous remercie, Madame la Partie civile. Very pour well. Ces je pas Thank you, Madame Civil Party, for these clarifications. I have no further questions. Thank you, Judge. Uh, I'd like to hand the floor now to the Juge defense team for Mionchi. 
Good morning, Mr. President, judges, Monsieur parties. Le Président, Madame, Monsieur, Good morning, Monsieur, Madam Civil Party. Uh, today, I'll be asking you questions that we'll revisit. Uh, we've already discussed Nous yesterday, but I'll be looking at them from a different perspective, hier, so please bear with me. I'll also be refreshing your memory along the way with the uh, things that you said yesterday. Because of the current hier, focus of the trial, we'll be spending most of our time procès, discussing actuel, experiences related to your marriage. But first, I would like to start by looking at some of the other experiences you've already experiences. So my first line of questioning is in relation to uh, your work with the war spoils unit that you spoke about yesterday. And yesterday, uh, before questions to your civil party lawyers at 13.44, this is what he said. Your big group was in charge of transporting the things from people's houses. One day, when you collected those spoils of war, some of your forces transported silver things. Those silver things were collected from the royal palace. But you did not go to the royal palace. You simply helped organize those things after they were collected. There was a statue collected from a factory. There were many different kinds of statues. Some were full length, and they were brought to stay in a house. My first question in this regard is, You've mentioned Apsara statues Donc, vous and silver things. Do you remember what other types of war spoils were collected and stored? Vous souvenez -vous de quels autres types d'objets, ou quels autres types d'objets ont également été collectés? The war spoils that we collected include the Apsara statues, le butin de guerre and they were made ramassions of silver. There were other uh, silverwares, including those of fruit. Il y avait des fruits, par exemple. And the Apsara statues, statues were of a human size. And after we gathered those silverwares, then we were instructed to collect the belongings and the properties from empty houses to store in the warehouse, and later on they would be sent to a cooperative. Do you remember whether religious artifacts were ever collected? I only knew of uh, silver wares and uh, there was no gold. Il n'y avait pas Do you know what was supposed to happen to the war spoils after they were brought to stay in a house? Question. Et savez-vous ce qu'il advenait de ces objets après qu'ils ont été collectés et placés dans cet entrepôt? I uh, did not know. We placed them in the warehouse. We closed the door and let me engage in other assignments. And I did not know where, where they would be uh, taken through. Moving to my second line of questioning, I would like to now talk a little bit about your experience immediately upon arriving in Phnom Penh after 17 April 1975. Uh, yesterday at 1429, in questions uh, from the prosecutor, you said that when you first joined, it was Battalion 401, but you did not know which regiment it belonged to because there was only one female battalion. Can you tell me the name of the division to which your battalion à quelle division vous étiez rattaché. Uh, uh, J'ignore à quelle division nous étions rattachés. Moi, j'étais yes, membre d'un bataillon de femmes, c'est tout ce que je savais. Did you know the names of any major leaders, for example, the division leader? Do you remember the names of any major leaders, for example, the division leader? I only recall the chief of the, uh, my battalion, Chiu and Pan, that is Pan. deputy and the member. Chiu and Pan, that is deputy and the member. Respectivement. 
Yesterday at 13.44, in questions from your civil party lawyer, you said that when you entered Phnom Penh, you stayed to the north of Wat Phnom. You stayed at the houses of people that were empty. So you've mentioned Wat Phnom. Do you know if your battalion had an office at Wat Phnom? Savez-vous si votre bataillon avait un bureau à Wat Phnom? Nous demeurions ensemble dans ces maisons. Ensuite, nous avons été séparés en différentes unités. Et alors, j'étais... Je demeurais près de l'hôpital de Kalmat. Une autre unité a été envoyée à l'armée. Une autre accompagnée et une unité a été envoyée au commerce. Did I understand well then that you and your colleagues in the battalion and your leaders all stayed in the area surrounding Wat Phnom? Yes, uh, that is correct. Madam Civil Party, I would like to now read to you testimony of another witness who's already testified in this trial, who's also talked about staying near Wat Phnom as part of a military division. Mr. President, this is the transcript with the document number E1-320.1. It's a transcript from the 23rd of June, 2015, and the name of the witness is Sem Hearn. Madam Civil Party, at 9.52 on the 23rd of June 2015, this witness, Sem Hun, refers to the existence of a Division 310 office at Wat Phnom. He refers, as I said, to this office at Wat Phnom belonging to a division named 310. Does this refresh your memory about the name of the division to which your battalion belongs? la division à laquelle votre bataillon était rattaché. Réponse non, ça ne me rappelle rien du tout. I'll, I'll try one more time with a different fact that he mentioned on a different day. Uh, Mr. President, this is the transcript E1-317.1. It's a transcript from the 17th of June 2015. This is from the same witness, Sem Hearn. Madam Civil Party, at 1548 on that day, this witness, Sem Hearn, says it was Hearn who was the commander of the division. Now, I know you've, only, you've mentioned that you can only recall the names Chun as names of leaders. Does the name Hearn ring a bell to you? No, it doesn't. Réponse non. No problem. Let's talk a little bit now about your role Question, when you were in the military. So, in addition to working with the War Spoils Unit, yesterday you testified vous avez dit about having another role. En plus de travailler and avec this is what you said that I would like to discuss now. Before your civil dit. party lawyers at 13.43, you said that you were at the suburban area of Phnom Penh. You transferred ammunition, dead bodies of the soldiers, and wounded soldiers. But you also participated in fighting other combatants. A little bit later, before the co-prosecutors at 1426, you said that when you joined the revolution, you were part of the female combatant unit. You were part of the transportation to carry the wounded from the battlefield. You carried the wounded, the dead, and the ammunition. Here's my question. So you've mentioned transporting wounded and dead people and ammunition. Did you ever transport anything else? For example, the weapons for the ammunition.
em xong chụp điệp tha nơi tam mô phum khi ông bán nâng tầng chung crop c'était au nord de la montagne de Prasad, le champ de bataille, et nous amenions les armes au champ de bataille, de bataille de 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 la ligne de front. Je ne connais pas les noms des villages et des communes parce que c'était dans la forêt, dans ces parages-là. How long can you estimate how long Question. it might have taken for you to Pouvez-vous estimer le temps que cela vous prenait pour acheminer les munitions de l'endroit où vous étiez au champ de bataille au front au champ de bataille à l'avant ពេលដឹកជូនហ្នឹងមិនជាយូទេពេលជូនទៅហ្នឹងលងាយដាងចាំជូនទៅអស់ស្វាគមន៍ So the, the process uh, took a few hours and usually we Pour returned at about 12 or midnight heures, et en général, and on était we did not uh, at the front. Nous ne pas sur le champ de ou sur le front. Do you remember what kind of ammunition Question. you transported? Vous souvenez-vous du type de munition que vous transportiez? Crop Ammunitions uh, includes uh, B40, des B40, and uh, bullets in a form of uh, 0.41 or 0.42, 0.60, 0.60, 0.60, 0.60, 0.60, 0.60, 0.60, 0.60, 0.60, 0.60, 0.60, 0.60, 0.60, 0.60, 0.60, 0.60, 0.60, 
No meetings. Réponse. Since the time I was non, there, je n'ai pas participé à des réunions pendant tout mon séjour. Uh, concerning changing of a office or location. Concernant I la learned délocalisation uh, de notre bureau. About the division of uh, uh, battalions, of the division of uh, battalions, and then the, that was the time when I was transferred to elsewhere. Les bataillons. Relevant des divisions, Did et I understand ce correctly que that you attended this meeting at which changing si of the office was discussed? Vous avez participé à cette réunion où l'on parlait du changement du lieu There was où one se trouvait meeting votre bureau. Among all of us, all the members of Réponse. the battalions, une réunion pour tout le that monde, meeting was to inform cette that uh, all of us were to be divided into units Donc, and one was to send to Compontum, another unité. one was to the Certains commerce and uh, the day after we left uh, to our Le lendemain, directions. Nous sommes partis Some uh, went to Dodompung, others went to Kampuchea Kram location. Kram, we were divided into groups nous and we were uh, stationed at a different location in Phnom Penh. Phnom Penh. Do you remember if there were Question, any other topics of discussion at this meeting? Si d'autres thèmes ont été abordés lors de ces réunions, lors de cette réunion. No. Réponse non. Uh, we were informed about uh, the division of forces Nous on that day. Informés de la division ou de la répartition des forces ce jour-là. Okay. Now I'm moving to my next line of questioning, je vais à ma prochaine série de questions. and I'm going to discuss with you briefly the experience you mentioned yesterday avec vous about being dont interrogated. Hier au sujet de votre so at 15.48, uh, in answer to a question from the co-prosecutor, co co uh, you were asked by the co-prosecutor whether you were accused of having ties to Lon Nol, or whether it was actually Koyton, alias Stuch, who you had mentioned. Uh, your answer was, you said that you did not know. Touch. They only said that you were Dans connected parlé, to the leadership. Répondu, it was not only you alone. Qu All the people who were transported there in those kinds of vehicles vous, were alleged to have those kinds of connections. I'm interested in what you said about being media. accused of being connected to the leadership. Did your interrogators give you any more directions. details about what you were accused of? Did your interrogators give you any more details about what you were accused of? I do not know about that. Réponse. Je n'en sais rien. I do not know about the link or the network that I was involved in. Je ne sais rien au sujet in. des liens ou des réseaux auxquels j'aurais appartenu. And then, with questions about what happened question. after the interrogation, you said to the co-prosecutor at approximately 15:45 yesterday that you stayed at that location for a while. And then you went to Watts Lane, so, where après you were assigned to dig canals and build dikes. Puis vous êtes allé à Watts Lane were you told pour des why you were being transferred to Watts Lane et, uh, after having travaux. been interrogated? Pourquoi, après votre interrogatoire, avez-vous été transféré à Watts Lane? After the interrogation, I was sent to Stunkantour. Après l'interrogatoire, j'ai été envoyé à Stunkantour. And uh, I was asked at Stung Kantur uh, why uh, endroit, we uh, were sent to that location. And uh, we told that uh, person that we do not know. Répondu que je ne savais pas. And I, was, I learned that uh, it was the decision or influence of the leaders. Que une In fact, at the time, there were many leaders uh, across the country. À I do not know any leaders. As any senior leaders, I know only uh, the chief of Je my ne company. Aucun si ce le chef de ma okay. I'm going to go back a little bit to something I quoted Je to you just before. Sur at 1548, you said to the co-prosecutors, all the people who were transported there in those kinds of vehicles ont, ont were alleged to have those kinds of connections. So just my last question on this topic is, the people with whom you were transferred from Watts Lane, were they all accused of having those kinds of connections? Avaient-elles toutes été accusées d'entretenir ce type de relation ou d'avoir ce type de lien? They did not say that. 
réponse. Ils ne l'ont pas They dit. That we were by ils ont the dit leaders. qu'on avait été influencés par When les we dirigeants. Lorsqu'on nous a posé la question, reason, on a tous and, uh, répondu uh, qu'on ne connaissait pas la raison. Et nous ont dit qu'on avait été influencés par les dirigeants. Or, moi, je ne connaissais aucun dirigeant. Do I understand correctly that they did not mention any specific names of leaders who were to have influenced you? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. No. They said no that we were non. influenced by the leaders. They did not um, mention very clearly the specific names of those leaders. Mentionné clairement de noms spécifiques. I'm now going to move to my next line of questioning, and now we will start to talk about your marriage. My first question in this regard is that yesterday you mentioned the name of one. Uh, in answers to your civil party lawyer at 1351, you said that the person who arranged for your marriage was Pan, your immediate supervisor. My question, you said that Pan was your immediate supervisor. Was Pan your unit chief? Était-ce votre chef d'unité Était-il votre chef d'unité Pan was the unit chief of the male. Était le chef de l'unité des hommes. In fact, he was in charge of a male and female en fait, in the was boy unit. Des hommes et des femmes. In fact, he was the one who asked me about the marriage. Dans l'unité. And you said that this person was your immediate supervisor, so is he the person that you reported to daily and the person that gave you orders daily? C'est lui que vous rendiez des comptes au quotidien et receviez-vous au quotidien des ordres de lui? I was within the group when there, were, when there was a meeting, I needed to go, and uh, usually chief, chiefs would uh, hold meetings among themselves. And as for the meeting among all of us, we, uh, that meeting, those meetings were to inform us about how to work in a proper manner. And usually the meetings concerned the uh, mistakes that we, were, we committed as well. And your work assignments day to day, were they usually given to you by Pan? Vos missions quotidiennes, vous étiez-elles confiées par Pan? Yes, Pan generally oui. assigned the work to uh, wherever we worked uh, were assigned to, was assigned by Pan. Le travail. Okay. C'est ta, c'est Yesterday, Pan we spoke les, quite les a lot about uh, your refusal Hier, to get married on a multiple occasion. So I'd now like to ask you some follow-up questions about this. So at 1522, in answer to the co-prosecutors, you said that the first time when you refused, you made it before the chief where you lived. A few days later, you were asked again. A few days later, you were asked again. A few days later, a few days later, you were asked again. Three or four days later, you were asked again. A few days later, you were asked again. Trois ou quatre jours plus tard, on vous a posé la question. La question. Quelques jours après, on vous a reposé la question. Le chef vous a envoyé rencontrer un oncle au bureau. À 15h26, vous avez dit au procureur, après plusieurs refus, vous avez repensé you did not dare because you were afraid of being accused of something. For the first time, you were accused of having a fiancé. Then another time, you were accused of having a boyfriend at another ministry. And then you thought that since Ankar had the eyes of a pineapple, they could check. My first question, I want to check if I've understood your testimony well. Is it correct that the first time when you refused to be married, you were accused at that time of having a fiancé. You were accused at that time of having a fiancé. That is correct. The first time I was called and asked, the messenger came to ask me, came to call me, and he asked me at the time. But before he put the question, he praised me that I did good work and I contributed much to Anka. So the Anka was was great. To me, so they needed to arrange the marriage for me. And after 
speaking for a while, he said that I had Après a fiancé at home. I refused. That I did not have uh, any, I did not have fiancé at uh, my home village. Uh, village if I had had one, I would have uh, visited him from si time to time. Un, then de he said temps. that I had uh, a boyfriend Puis at the ministry. I also refused that. And I asked him to uh, conduct surveillance if he did not believe me. De me a few days later, I was Quelques told to go tard, and see uncle. M'a and un then oncle. I decided to go. I did not see uh, Mr. Kun, but I met Chon. Je n'ai pas vu Kuhn, mais and another person. Uh, the, two, the two individuals spoke uh, with me on that day. Et une autre and uh, I was asked by all of them. Et elles on that posé day, I started to think, talk to myself that uh, I did not want to uh, refuse any uh, other uh, proposals because others did not uh, refuse the marriage, so I had to uh, submit myself uh, to Alors, the request by Anka. I'll come back to that next meeting in question. just a minute, but just to follow up with one more question. So, your chief Je accused avec you question. of having a fiancé chef, and then having a boyfriend, fiancé, puis and then un ami. you said he could conduct surveillance Et on you to check. Am I correct? Il pouvait mener Tiens, tiens, mais des that enquêtes et vous surveiller pour vérifier par vous-même. Anka, vous was, uh, Anka oui, had exact. pineapple eyes, and Lanka if Anka did not believe me, si uh, pas, Anka should uh, do whatever it wanted, and then uh, measure could be taken against me. Okay, so just on that point, what was your chief's response Question. when you told him Quelle to conduct surveillance la réponse on you? De votre chef lorsque vous lui avez dit qu'il pouvait vous surveiller pour vérifier par okay. lui-même? When I said that, he réponse. was silent. Lorsque he said dit, nothing. Il I told him to conduct a surveillance if I had, had uh, committed uh, moral offenses, I uh, would uh, si agree to accept any punishment. And after that, he was silent. Et si oui, si cela a été avéré, je serais prête à en subir uh, okay, les so conséquences. Okay, so now let's talk about this meeting with the two silencieux. uncles that you spoke of. Question, parlons In des, addition to what you've just said now, oncles, yesterday at 1525 to the co-prosecutors, you were talking about this meeting with the two uncles. I, I heard the names as Mon and Chun. I'm not sure if I'm correct. Avec les deux and oncles, then this is what you said to the prosecutor. When you arrived, the two uncles did not threaten you. They spoke nice words. They said that not only you were supposed to get married, other cadres were supposed to get married as well. And then a minute later, to the co-prosecutors at 1526, you said that after after you've made several refusals, you thought about that, since the others seem not to dare to refuse, you did not dare because you were afraid of being accused of something. My question is, what made you think that you would be accused of something? Pourquoi craignez-vous d'être accusé de quelque chose? Qu'est-ce qui vous a fait croire que vous pourriez être accusé de quelque chose? They asked me. I was not frightened. And if they had uh, accused me of anything, si I peur, would not have uh, been afraid of the accusation because si I did not soit, make any mistake pas eu peur, at the time. Je rien fait de mal. I uh, refused à je, à since I knew je that I did not faute. make any mistakes. C'est pourquoi j'ai refusé à l'époque, sachant que je n'avais commis aucune faute. Okay. And then yesterday at 1526, Hier, before the co-prosecutors, you said that you met with the two uncles, they spoke nice words, uncles, and you knew aimables, you could not make any refusals. Now, you said yesterday that the uncles spoke nice Hier, words, and you said just now that you were not frightened of them. How was it that you concluded that you could not make any more refusals to be married? Vous ne pouviez plus refuser à nouveau de vous marier. 
I could not refuse réponse. because I had uh, je refused ne pas on two occasions already. So car that was the third time. So how could I find fois. words, other words, to refuse? Comment Others uh, did not refuse. Pu so des mots I started to feel frightened. Pour ne pas fait. And uh, I told them to peur. do whatever they je wanted. Dit de faire they tout ce could voulaient. organize the marriage. Uh, for le me, as Anka wished. Selon I did not have any words to les vœux de l'encart, je ne trouvais pas les mots pour refuser. Ok, let's talk a little bit défense, about très bien. your parents. Parlons un peu de vos parents. Yesterday, at 13:54, hier à 13h44, uh, in answer to a question from your civil party lawyer about whether your parents or, or relatives were consulted. Hein in the decision de about your marriage. Si parents, you said you never consulted with your parents and siblings um, because they were living far away from you. You wanted to ask for permission to visit them, but they did not allow you to do so. Pour leur visite, mais now, I'm not sure I understood this well. Je ne sais pas si je vous ai bien After compris. you were requested to get married, Après, did you, in fact, ask for permission to visit your parents? On vous a demandé de vous marier. Avez-vous demandé la permission d'aller rendre visite à vos parents? I asked uh, the permission to go and see my siblings and uh, parents, but uh, the uh, request was uh, rejected uh, because Anka was uh, my parents, as uh, they said. At the time, no one had much had time or freedom to go home and visit uh, family members. Uh, from 1975 or 1976, no one could uh, go home and visit their family. And uh, my husband, who became a soldier uh, in 1971 and 72, never went home to visit the family members. And after uh, we uh, got out of the regime, we learned that we lost our family members and Et relatives. Après la fin du régime, nous avons appris que nous avions perdu nos parents Let et les membres de notre famille. Let me just ask you a follow-up question on this. So question. yesterday at 1356, in answer to questions from your civil party lawyers, Hier, you described how there were 12 couples who got married at the same time as you. Among the 12 couples, you knew three couples, 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 and I recorded the names as Sai, Ta, Sao, Si, Chi, Lin. Now, among those three couples that you knew, Pardon, Do you know if any of them consulted with their parents or other relatives si before getting married? Leurs parents ou les membres de leur famille avant de se marier? No. Réponse non. When I saw them and discussed with them, they said that uh, they did not go to consult eux. with the family members and parents. The 12 couples, couples uh, never uh, went to ask uh, any opinions from ne parents or family or relatives or siblings. Parents et et Thank you. Moving to my et next défense. line of Merci. questioning about your marriage, I would like to talk mariage. to you briefly about your age. Et je vais parler brièvement de votre Yesterday, age. at 14.02, in answer to questions from your civil party lawyer, you said that at the time that you were married, you were 19, pour la civile, your husband was 26. Madam Civil votre Party, mariage, votre on your ID card, your date of Monsieur birth is recorded as the 7th of April 1954. To your understanding, is this date of birth accurate? Date de naissance est le 7 avril 1954. Est-ce que cette date de naissance est exacte, d'après vos souvenirs? All I know is Réponse. that I was born in 1954. Tout ce que je sais, c'est que je suis né en 1954. When I was told to get married, I did not know well how old I was at the time. I uh, presumed that I was 19 or 20. I did not know how to uh, count my age, uh, but at the time I presumed that I uh, was perhaps 19 or 20 years old when I got married. Lorsque je me suis mariée. So, to check on this, Question were vérifier. you married during the Democratic Kampuchea period, according to your memory? D'après vos souvenirs, étiez-vous mariée sous la période du Kampuchea démocratique? 
Yes, I got married in the DK. Réponse oui. Je me suis mariée sous le Kampuchea démocratique. Thank you. Moving to my next line of questions. Merci. Just a few brief follow-up questions. Question this is regarding moi. handicapped soldiers who you mentioned briefly yesterday. Sur, uh, les dont, que vous avez At 1359, in answering a question from your civil party lawyer, you spoke about your husband. You said that he had a problem with one of his legs. He could not walk properly. You've also talked about your husband being a soldier. Do you know if his leg injury was related to his military service? La blessure à la jambe était liée à son service militaire. The injury had something to do with the, the with the war. That is why he was sent to stay in the handicap unit. Those who got injured and uh, handicapped, who, who were handicapped, were sent to that unit to do light work. Just about that handicap unit, now that you've mentioned it, Question do you know if they were from the same uh, division as you, broadly? Relevé de la même division que vous, en général. They were from divisions of the North Zone. Il était de la division de la zone nord. Okay, and just another follow-up question about this. Question so yesterday at 1357, in answer to questions from your civil party lawyers, you described a little bit about the handicapped soldiers, and this is what you said. Among the 12 couples, the female side were also female combatants. The male side were also male combatants, but the male combatants were all handicapped. Because they could not fight the enemy any longer, they were brought in to get married. Some lost hands. Some had one eye blind. All were handicapped soldiers. My question, Madam Civil Party, how did you know that because the handicapped soldiers were brought in to get married, how did you know that, sorry, let me start again, how did you know that the handicapped soldiers were brought in to get married because they could not fight the enemy any longer, as you said? Comme vous l'avez dit. I did not know that uh, some of Réponse. those who were to get married were handicaps. Je ne savais pas handicapped. Que certains de ceux I learned about that on the, the day of marriage. Je appris le jour du mariage. Those uh, handicapped uh, soldiers, some of them I, whom I know, came Je on a truck uh, transporting ammunition. But before that, I did not know that uh, the female had to get married to Avant the cela, handicapped que les femmes devaient Men. se marier à des hommes handicapés. I think my question may have been unclear question, before. I'm sorry. Ma question n'est peut-être um, pas claire. Je, je, what you had said to your civil party lawyers yesterday at 13.57 was because they, the handicapped soldiers, could not fight the enemy any longer, they were brought in to get married. And my question is, how did you know that the reason that they were brought in to get married is because they could not fight any longer? de leur mariage, comment saviez-vous que c'est parce qu'ils ne pouvaient plus combattre l'ennemi qu'ils ont été amenés pour le mariage I do not know whether they Réponse. no longer had ability to fight in the war. I learned that uh, those people were handicapped on the dates of marriage. Other than that, I do not know. Jour du mariage. What I know sais. is that uh, the handicapped men were from divisions or regiments of uh, the North Zone, some uh, soldiers who could not uh, fight in the war any longer were put in one specific unit. At the time, there were uh, other handicapped spécifique. soldiers. And did you know anything more about that handicapped unit? For example, did you know where it was located? Inaudible. Question. Savez-vous où était située cette unité des handicapés, des soldats handicapés? The location was Réponse. to the east of Babsacha. C'était à l'est de Babsacha. The houses 
uh, could accommodate handicapped soldiers. Later on, they were sent handicapés. to workshops Dans la suite, uh, ils ont and commerce des and uh, the repairing unit, and some were sent to des unités de réparation, uh, unités de commerce. units uh, responsible for building houses. Au sein d'unités chargées de la construction des maisons. Uh, so these people were divided into Units or group based on the ability of their work, they could perform after they were handicapped. And you might Malgré not know this, but I'll, I'll just try anyway. Question. Do you happen to know oui, the unit number pas, of the handicapped unit? Handicapés? I do not know. Réponse. Je l'ignore. Okay. Moving now to la my défense. next line of questions, just, just very few questions now questions. about your wedding ceremony. Quelques questions the first question is, among suivante. the other couples at your wedding ceremony, Parmi do you know if any of their parents or relatives marié? attended the wedding ceremony? Savez-vous si leurs parents ou l'un quelconque des membres de leur famille assistaient à la cérémonie? No. Réponse non. No one came to attend uh, the marriage ceremony. Personne n'est venu assister à la cérémonie de mariage. And my second question on this, and that's Ma my only question, question on this point. Ma seule sur ce Did point? you ever see with your own eyes any other wedding ceremonies other than the one that you yourself participated in? Outre celle à laquelle vous-même vous avez participé. No, I do not know. Réponse non. I do not know other marriage pas. ceremonies. Je ne suis pas au courant d'une autre cérémonie Thank de you. mariage. I'm now up to my second last la line of questioning. Hein. Merci. And these are some Avant questions dernière, about morality during the DK period. Au sujet de la moralité sous le Cambodge démocratique. Yesterday at 15:08, in questions 08, from the co-prosecutors, you said that during the Khmer Rouge regime, the discipline, the discipline was very strict. You were not allowed to engage in any moral affairs. If such moral offence happened, maybe only a small amount morale, happened, and they could take measures to prevent such occurrence. Même si cas what I'm wondering is, did you ever hear if the party had a formal rule about moral offences? Avez-vous jamais entendu dire que le parti avait des règles officielles concernant les infractions morales? Yes. They have uh, moral rules. That is, we were asked to be clean. On nous demandait d'être propres. And I learned that the children of uh, the leadership que les enfants, les dirigeants, were divided from one another and uh, up to the division if they uh, cela, uh, did not have any mistakes uh, toward one another, I mean moral mistakes, they uh, si were allowed to uh, get together. And now I would like to ask you about a moral rule that was published in the Revolu Revolutionary Youth Publication. Mr. President, this is the October 1978 issue. It's uh, document E3-765. The ERNs in English are 00539994. In Khmer, 00376493239. And in French, 00540024-5. Madam Civil Party, this publication records the following uh, principle of the Communist Party of Kampuchea. It's principle 6, and it is, do not behave in any way that violates females. Does this sound like something that you ever heard during the DK period? No, I did not hear that. However, we were prohibited from committing any moral misconduct. 
And you were told about that uh, by your unit chief. Question, est-ce que c'est votre chef d'unité qui vous a rapporté cela? Yes, and uh, the matter was reiterated at every uh, meeting. Et la question a été and that male and female youth should stay clear from moral misconduct. Thank you. Now I'm moving to my last line of questioning, so we're almost done here. These questions are about the consummation of your marriage. Madam Civil Party, yesterday at 14.07, in answer to questions from your Civil Party lawyer, you said that, and you were asked about whose choice it was to consummate the marriage, you said about your husband that it was his choice. My question is, can you elaborate on this answer? I mean, more specifically, what did your husband say or do right before the first time you had sex with each other? He said that if we still did not uh, get well together or get along together, then we would be mistreated. That's what he said. Did he say how he knew that? He knew it uh, during the first night that we uh, stayed together and that we were under uh, monitoring as we all could hear uh, footsteps uh, going up the staircase or the ladder. And I had been aware of uh, that previously. Coming to that point, uh, yesterday at 14.04, in answer to questions from your civil party lawyers, you were talking about what happened after the wedding ceremony, and you said that when you went to rest at Tultum Pong Market, one person told you to be careful because you were under monitor. Then you described what you've just said now, the three couples stayed together in one house. At night time, you listened and you could hear the footsteps. They went up the ladder to try to listen to you. They went up the staircase and they became quiet. You yourselves did not make any sound. A couple of follow-up questions on this. First one is, you said that someone told you to be careful because you were under monitor. Who was this person who warned you? It was the uh, other woman who cooked, who worked in the kitchen at uh, the location where I worked. She says that I uh, should be careful because we were under a monitor since we did not lie to our uh, husbands. And it turned out to be true at night time since I could hear footsteps uh, going up the staircase. And I became so quiet in order to listen uh, to the footsteps outside. And after a while, I could hear the uh, footsteps going down. Do you, did you ever find out who these people were who were monitoring you? No, I did not. Uh, it was dark and I did not dare to open the door to see. We were scared. My last question, did you ever hear of an order to monitor newlywed couples to determine whether they were consummating their marriage? I'm speaking of an order here. Yes, I had heard people saying about that, but personally I only experienced it after the marriage. Previously, I had heard that the married women were subjects to be uh, monitored by the militia group. 
était susceptible d'être par le groupe des miliciens. Effectivement, ça m'est arrivé une fois que okay, je suis Ok, vous avez juste parlé d'un groupe de Vous n'avez parlé à présent Did, dans was there a militia group in that location at Tutumpung Market where you stayed? Au marché de Tutumpung, là où vous demeuriez. There were bodyguards or the chief of the uh, place where I worked, and uh, they were used by the chief to conduct the uh, monitoring activities. But I did not know them since we stayed at a separate location, and the chief supervised both male and female units. Okay, so you've described a few duties there, guarding the chief and monitoring activities. Do you know if these militia had any other general duties to perform? They also were assigned to uh, guard the walls spoils from houses. But when they got other assignments, then they would go to uh, carry out those assignments. But usually they worked together uh, like us. So did they have general security guarding duties, as far as you knew? Début de la question inaudible. Generally, they did not uh, stand guard at any location, and from my observation, during the daytime, they worked as uh, we did, but for night time, I did not know much about the assignment, but as I said, that night, I uh, could hear footsteps, and previously, I had heard people speaking about the uh, monitoring. And uh, it turned out to be true uh, during that night for me. And, and just let me confirm one last point. You said that you heard footsteps, but if I understood well, you said that you did not find out who it was. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. I did not know who they were. Thank you for your patience, Madam Civil Party. Mr. President, I have no further questions. Merci de votre patience, Madam la Partie Civile. Monsieur le Président, j'en ai terminé. Thank you, Councillor. I'd like to hand the floor now to Judge Fence. <coughs> Thank you. I have two or three follow up questions actually following up the uh, Council's questioning. And um, they have to do with this notion of moral misconduct. You told us that in the first meeting, that led up to Vous nous avez dit au cours de your eventual marriage, réunion, um, friendly card came and essentially accused you of moral misconduct because you had boyfriend or a fiancé. Now you were eager to prove that this is not correct and said no, it's not correct and please check on me. You can check that. Now my question to you is what happened to people who had a boyfriend qui avait or effectivement a fiancé, which was not arranged by the party. Qui pas été par le parti. As I have stated, people involved in moral uh, misconduct, uh, there was uh, a couple at my place. However, they were children of the uh, leadership level, then they were split up, and after a period of time, they were reunited and they were married off. That was the only incident that I knew of. Why were you eager to prove that moral misconduct hasn't happened? In your case, sorry. In your case.
Personally, I never committed any moral misconduct. Réponse. Personnellement, je n'ai jamais été l'auteur d'une quelconque inconduite But when the morale. Chief me, je n'ai jamais badiné avec qui que ce soit. Seems to threaten me Et in le that chef regard. a semblé But me menacer à cet égard. J'ai maintenu in ma position, j'ai dit que jamais je n'avais commis de faute ou d'inconduite morale parce que c'était la vérité. From council, that moral misconduct was a serious issue under the regime. Now you said you had the feeling he threatened you. Why did he threaten you? If the only thing that happened was that you were separated from your partner for a while and then allowed to be together, what did other things happen in cases of moral misconduct? Que se passait-il d'autre If people uh, were accused of a moral si misconduct, the person would be taken away and disappeared. And the only instance that I saw that they uh, did not disappear and they were married off was the one that I uh, spoke about. They were split up, and the Les woman stayed in my place, and the man were sent to Chantemray. And à after a period of time, the woman was taken to be reunited with the man, and they were married off. That's all I heard, but I did not attend their dire. wedding. Moi, je pas so do I understand you correctly? Alors, the normal reaction la réaction to normal moral misconduct was that people disappeared. But you know one case where this was not Mais the case and it ended in marriage. Did I understand you correctly? Il y a eu un cas où cela ne s'est pas passé ainsi et les deux personnes ont été mariées. Ai-je bien compris? Personally, I only witnessed uh, that case. Personnellement, je n'ai été témoin and que de ce that, cas. I had not, uh, Avant cela, je n'ai été témoin de rien. Ce couple a été marié pendant la nuit. Let me get back to the question. First part je vais revenir à la première partie de votre question, celle où vous dites que les gens disparaissaient. Les personnes qui étaient coupables d'inconduite morale. Forget that the moment the one couple who married. Oubliez le cas où les deux personnes se sont mariées. Forget that the moment the one couple who married. Oubliez le cas où les deux personnes se sont mariées. Forget that the moment the one couple who married. Oubliez le cas où les deux personnes se sont mariées. Forget that the moment the one couple who married. Oubliez le cas où les deux personnes se sont mariées. Forget that the moment the one couple who married. Oubliez le cas où les deux personnes se sont mariées. Forget that the moment the one couple who married. Oubliez le cas où les deux personnes se sont mariées. Forget that the moment the one couple who married. Oubliez le cas où les deux personnes se sont mariées. Forget that the moment the one couple who married. Oubliez le cas où les deux personnes se sont mariées. I did not witness that. Réponse. Je n'ai pas été témoin de cela. J'ai seulement entendu que les personnes étaient coupables d'un conduit de morale et disparaissaient. J'ai entendu les gens me raconter, mais je n'en ai pas été personnellement témoin. Question. Question. Voilà qui m'amène à une autre question. Quand vous avez demandé pourquoi vous avez demandé pourquoi vous avez accepté to your own marriage after two refusals. You said, because pour être marié, roughly because I saw the others didn't dare refuse, and you said, I was afraid I would be accused of something. Now, very clear question. Were you, but you didn't specify. Were you afraid you would be accused of moral you would be again accused of moral misconduct if you didn't agree? Or is it was not the case? Or not? Is it was not the case? Personally, I was afraid because uh, some people may try to find uh, mistakes that I might have made. Of course, if people uh, spoke about uh, any act or any uh, actions sûr, that we involved, then it would be hurt to the chief, and the chief would use that against us. I'll try one last time. I understand you were afraid of being accused of something. Can you be more specific of what you were afraid to be accused? Anything or one specific thing. 
de, de tout ou n'importe quoi, ou quelque chose en particulier, ou alors était-ce tout simplement une peur Si je ne me marie pas, ils trouveront bien quelque chose pour m'accuser. It is difficult to say about the mistakes that we might have made. Difficile I myself did not de commit any moral misconduct. If I were to accuse of committing it, commis then they moral, would not ask for si the reasons why I did it. Accusé, alors on ne me demanderait pas then les raisons I would pourquoi. be sent to the upper level. And if uh, the chief informed the upper level, the si upper le level would believe the chief and they would not ask for justification from the members. Le chef, mais ne demanderait certainement pas de justification for, uh, any aux of any as as Il ne s'inquiétait pas des the raisons. Level, Dès que l'échelon supérieur était notifié, alors les, les gens étaient envoyés. Ils ne venaient pas vous demander, camarade, vous avez été accusé d'un conduite morale. Qu'avez-vous no, à dire Non, ils ne faisaient pas comme ça. La personne était retirée. Donc, vous dites que were enough. Question. Donc, ce que vous dites, c'était qu'accuser était suffisant pour que les gens soient retirés. Accuser quelqu'un d'un conduite morale était suffisant pour qu'une personne soit, en, soit retirée. C'est exact yes, uh, Oui. That is correct. Répond la partie civile. C'est exact. If there was a report to the upper si level, un rapport the upper était envoyé à l'échelon supérieur, alors l'échelon supérieur croyait le would be asked for any justification, then the person would be removed. Et aucune justification ou explication n'était demandée, la personne était enlevée. Après, je ne sais pas où cette However, personne était envoyée. Mais nous n'avons no entendu parler de cela parce que matter. personne, là où j'étais, n'a été emmené. Et encore, est-ce que vous avez peur que cela puisse vous arriver And again, were you afraid this would happen Question. to you? À nouveau, aviez-vous peur que cela vous arrive? Yes, I was afraid. Oui, j'avais peur. I was afraid of such accusations. J'avais peur que de telles accusations soient portées contre moi. I was afraid that I might be accused of committing a moral misconduct or of any treacherous activity. And for that reason, I did not dare to make any further refusal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Le Judge. Président, je vous remercie, Madame le juge. Le L'heure est à présent à la pause. La Chambre va suspendre l'audience pendant 20 minutes.